let's start our next topic in our last class we have read about the story of transportation so today we will discuss about the motion and their types as you can see that motion so first we will know about the motion or what do you mean by motion motion when an object change its position with respect to time means any object when this object or any object change its position change its position with respect to time then the object is said to be in motion it means for example there is any object let object a is there and this object change its position and now this object comes at position b then if this object change its position then it is said to be in motion or if it continuously changes its position note change in position continuously changes position then the object is said to be in motion simply in motion there are two positions rest rest is a position when object do not change its place or when object is in rest or we can say the object is in stationary when this object do not change its position and if it changes position let this object changes its position this is the first position second third fourth and this is the final position fifth if this object continuously changes its positions then the object is said to be in motion and if it is in rest means it do not change its position so this is the meaning of motion motion when an object changes position with respect to time then the object is said to be in motion so next topic is types of motion D there are different types of motions first translational motion second one is circular motion third one is random motion fourth one is oscillatory motion fifth one is periodic motion sixth one is combined motion and this is the last one non periodic motions so let's start with these motion of or types of motions so let's talk about translational motion as you can see that if object moves as the whole if an object change its position and all the parts of the object changes their positions or the object moves as a whole or you can say if the all the parts of an object change their positions from one place to another place and the same distance in same interval of time then the type of motion is known as transnational sorry translational motion second one is circular motion circular motion means motion along a circular path that is known as the circular motion as the name declares or clears circular motion the motion along a circular path is known as circular motion so translational motion like this this is any object a and this object change its position from any one place to another place let this place is c and this is the place d and a is the object now if this whole object or all the parts of that object change their position in same interval of time and same distance is traveled by each part of the object then the motion is known as translational motion now translational motion is of two types 
वन इज रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज कर्विलीनियर मोशन दीज टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन आर डिपेंड ऑन द पाथ इफ द मोशन अलोंग विद ए स्ट्रेट लाइन इफ ट्रांसलेशनल मोशन अलोंग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन द मोशन इज सेट टू बी इन रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन और इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट कवर्स ए डिस्टेंस और ट्रेवल्स ए डिस्टेंस और चेंज इट्स पोजिशन अलोंग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन देन द मोशन इज नोन एज रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन एंड इफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट कवर्स इट्स डिस्टेंस और चेंज इट्स पोजिशन अलोंग ए कर्व लाइक दिस इफ दिस सेम ऑब्जेक्ट कवर्स दिस डिस्टेंस अलोंग ए कर्ड पाथ सो दैट इज कर्विलीनियर मोशन द मोशन अलोंग कर्ड पाथ इज नोन एज कर्विलीनियर मोशन नाउ सर्कुलर मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन इज द मोशन अलोंग ए सर्कुलर पाथ अराउंड ए फिक्सड पोजिशन इज नोन एज सर्कुलर मोशन मीन्स इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज इट्स पोजिशन और मोशन अलोंग ए सर्कुलर पाथ दैट इज नोन एज सर्कुलर मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन इज अगेन ऑफ टू टाइप रिवोल्यूशनरी मोशन एंड रोटेटरी मोशन इन रिवोल्यूशनरी मोशन ऑब्जेक्ट मूव एज होल अलोंग द सर्कुलर पाथ मीन्स If the object changes position as a whole around a fixed point or around a fixed any other object, then the motion sorry then the motion is known as revolutionary motion, rotatory motion. If the object change or its position or it moves along its own axis like this. If this object changes position or in motion along with its own axis, then the motion is known as rotatory motion. Next one is random motion. Random motion means if the random motion. Random motion means irregular motions of the object means. If the object changes its position or irregular motion. Next one is oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion means if object is in to and fro motion. If the object is in to and fro motion means like pendulum or a swing. If swing starts from there, it goes to the extreme position and comes back to the initial position. Then that is known as oscillatory motion, to and fro motion, which repeats itself. Or to and fro motion means which repeats the same path and comes back to their initial positions. That is known as oscillatory motion. or you can say that the motion in which the object is in to and fro motion that is known as oscillatory motion next one is periodic motion periodic motion means the motion in which or the motion which repeat itself after a fixed interval of time that is known as periodic motion if the object If the object repeat its motion after a fixed interval of time, that is known as periodic motion. Next one is combined motion. Combined motion means combination of two or more motions at the same time. That is known as combined motion. Means more than one kind of motion is. covered or occupied by the object then the motion is known as combined motion and last one is non periodic motion 
द मोशन विच डज नॉट रिपीट इट सेल्फ आफ्टर ए फिक्स इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम दैट इज नोन एज नॉन पीरियोडिक मोशन नॉन पीरियोडिक मोशन को अगर हम सिंपली क्लियरिफाई करें सो वी कैन से दैट इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट डू नॉट रिपीट इट्स मोशन आफ्टर ए फिक्स इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम दैट इज नोन एज नॉन पीरियोडिक मोशन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द मोशन एंड टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन आई होप आप सभी को समझ में आया होगा और हम इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो we will discuss about the measurement of distances thank you have a nice day